Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof of the small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. eighteen eighty seven november nineteenth ashburton guardian Paul william thompson assisted by robert smith was engaged in making an excavation near the house about a half mile north of west hickory they exhumed an enormous helmet of iron which was corroded with rust further digging brought to light a sword which measured nine feet in length Curiosity incited them to enlarge the hole, and after a little time, they had unearthed a well-preserved skeleton of an enormous giant. The helmet is said to be in the shape of those found among the ruins of Nineveh. The bones of the skeleton are remarkably white, the teeth are double, and of extraordinary size. These relics have been taken to Tyanesta, where they are visited by large numbers of people daily. When this giant was alive in the flesh, he must have stood 18 feet high. These remains were found about 12 feet below the surface of the mound. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. 2022 and people are designing one-man aircrafts using drone technology this is not new under the sun history is repeating itself again the concept isn't new at all it was tried and tested decades ago here's some information on one of the old flying machines the hiller vz1 pawnee u.s army designation earlier army designation H01 was a unique direct lift rotor aircraft using contra-rotating ducted fans for lift inside a platform upon which the single pilot shifted body weight for directional control. The platform was developed starting in 1953 under an Office of Naval Research or ONR contract to Hiller aircraft and flew successfully beginning in 1955. The initiation well at Quinta da Aguilera near Sinta, Portugal. That which is below corresponds to that which is above, and that which is above corresponds to that which is below, to accomplish the miracles of the one thing. Hermes Trismegistus. This 88-foot deep well is located on the land of Quinta da Aguilera, near the town of Sintra, Portugal. The well was never used as a well, and, in fact, was never built to serve as a water resource at all. It was actually built for secret ceremonial purposes. The owner of Quinta da Regulera, the wealthy Portuguese businessman Antonio Augusto Carvalho Montero, was a well-known Freemason. With the assistance of the Italian architect Luigi Menini, he designed and constructed the four-hectare property with enigmatic buildings, mysterious parks, and underground tunnels. The prison of Solomon is a hollow cone-shaped hill in West Azerbaijan province Iran. There is an 80 meters deep pit in the middle of the hill, and the entrance to the pit is roughly 65 meters in diameter. The locals know this mountain as Suleiman prison or demon prison and believe that Suleiman imprisoned the demons who disobeyed his command in this mountain. The location of this prison reminds me of Batman Dark Knight the movie Prison.
Thalos was a giant automaton made of bronze to protect Europa and Crete from pirates and invaders. He circled the island shore three times daily. Talos threw rocks at any approaching ships to protect his island. In one version, Talos is a gift from Hephaestus to Minos, forged with the aid of the Cyclops. In the other version, Talos is a gift from Zeus to Europa. A newspaper stone in the American state of Utah appeared about 1000 years BC, and petroglyphs on the stone were at that time a reliable way to capture information for centuries. The stone in the archaeological reserve in Azerbaijan shows that the local population also thought about the reliability of the symbols carved in the stone, but already in the 42 millennium BC. In general, both peoples were right, and now I wonder, how two identical horned figures got from Azerbaijan to America. Let's take a look at these old garments. They go down to their ankles. If that was it, it may be suggested that this is just the winter fashion of Eastern Europe at the time. But what makes this the smoking gun is that these garments actually have giant armholes that these people don't even use most of the time. In many cases, they cut at the armpits in order for put their own arms through. This is completely undeniable proof of bigger people. There is no explanation more reasonable. There is no fashion of wearing blatant giant's clothes without the existence of giants. Can you spot anything peculiar about this pillar? This pillar belongs to the Virabhadra temple of the 16th century, also known as the Lapakshi temple, India. Built in the typical Vijayanagara architecture style, the temple features many exquisite sculptures and hundreds of paintings. However, the Virabhadra temple is famous for another wonder of engineering, the so-called hanging pillar. This pillar hangs on the ceiling, and its base hardly touches the floor, allowing fine objects to move from side to side. Now it's a tribute to the engineering genius of the ancient and medieval temple builders of India. However, he is slightly distracted from his original position, it is said that during the British era, a British engineer tried to move him in a failed attempt to discover the secret of his support. It will be needed to add, neither the British engineer nor anyone after him was able to explain the mystery of how the hanging pillar and the Lapakshi temple was elaborate. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.